When I was in Beach Place, um, I had nowhere to go. It's December. My birthday's March the following year. I was going to be 18. They don't house 18-year-olds. The state doesn't house. I was going to be on the street. I was petrified. And they, um, the social worker came to me, you have anybody here in Tampa that you know a relative that can take you in? I'm like, well, I have an aunt and uncle, but they live in Titusville. I haven't seen them in 10 years. The next day, my aunt, Carol, and uh, my uncle picked me up. And they took me in. They got me counseling. They show me what a mom and dad are. I call her aunt, um, aunt mommy and him uncle daddy. They just, they helped me on the road of recovery. And I haven't stopped since. I have a, you know, a voice now, and I'm able to speak for the other ones that can't. And I want to stand up and be an advocate for them, no matter what it takes. I want to see him coming to him what he deserves. He's still sitting on death row. 30 years later, how is that possible? I, I don't get it. He killed 10 women. Are there other bodies out there? Yeah. He'll go to his grave. He won't talk about it. I'm sure there's other victims out there that you'll never find. I um, requested through our state governor I want to go see him, and I was denied. I was told that Florida is probably one of the last states that doesn't let a victim talk to the perpetrator because they can't control what he's going to say. I get that. I understand that, and that he may um, interrupt my healing. That's my choice. That shouldn't be their choice to make the decision. I want to show him that I prevailed. I, I'm strong. I want you to know my name now. My name is Lisa. It's like one horrific ordeal that got me out of another one at home, and I just want to say thank you. I know it sounds weird. It's closure, and it's stand up for the other victims who can't be there. And those victims are forgotten. They're, they're, they're forgotten. Who talks about the victims' families? I mean, who, who does that anymore? I do. I do a lot of speaking engagements, and I have a PowerPoint. And the last slide is, in remembrance of, take a moment in silence. And I list every victim and their picture and their name and their age. I said, let's say a prayer for them and their families. I do because I could have been on that PowerPoint.